This is the Beko CXF 5104W fridge freezer. I'll make some comments at the end of the video. Okay, let's take a look inside. The fridge has got four shelves and you can adjust them all. And the freezer's got one shelf, two drawers and a half a drawer at the bottom. And this is a this is a, a nice drawer that I usually take out to give me a bit more space. Got a bit more space at the top there. Yeah, this is the top shelf. I can get about say three three bags of rolls there. Piled up, maybe even a fourth. It says fast freeze, but I don't think it is. This is the two middle drawers. That's a ten inch pizza there. It says fast freeze but I don't think it is and uh, I think the rating is 4 stars for freeze. Um, let's look at the fridge. These drawers are interchangeable but there's no reason why you would change them. The top two are the same basically and the bottom ones for heavy stuff and it's controlled with one thermostat, the fridge freezer, one thermostat. It goes from minimum to a high of seven. It doesn't tell you the degrees. This fridge freezer can be used out in an outhouse too. It can, it can, the temperature outside can go down to minus 15 degrees. And here's the salad drawer. Then you've got a chill cabinet there. There's the auto defrost in the fridge. It's basically a hole at the back that lets the condensation out. It says it's a chill compartment. And it's got four of these shelves. They're made of safety glass and they're adjustable. You've got about eight, eight levels that you can put the shelves at. Very easy to to move about. There's a light in the fridge but not the freezer. So let's take another look at the freezer, a closer look. This That's quite fragile that flap so you need to be careful you don't break that. And you've got your two middle drawers. And you've got your bottom half drawer. It says in the literature you you get about 87 litres storage capacity in the freezer. That's neat. And here's these two middle drawers. They're, they're easy to take out. As you can see, they've got handles at the side. But the design of them, at the back there, you lose a bit of space because of the design. So that was a bit disappointing. It's not that much, but it means that you can't only put the food flat at the back. It's very easy to move these three drawers in and out, once you know how. And then the top one's just a shell. And I've got my rolls in it. I shouldn't really keep my rolls there in case they catch in the fan, but I take the risk. And as I say, I usually remove the ice drawer to give me more space. Here you can hear the fan. It's very quiet. The fridge makes three noises. It's got the fan, it's got the motor and it's got a retching sound as if something's adjusting. The fan itself, you can't really hear it when the door's shut. Uh, the sound's 
and the literature says 43 decibels. It's quieter than old fridge freezer, but I think you can get quieter than that now, but it's not very noisy. Let's take a look in the fridge again. These are just some of the accessories you get with, with it. They're not really worth bothering about. And that's for ice cubes. This is for eggs. And you've got your plunger thing for the auto defrost at the back in case it gets blocked. And again, so now look at the salad drawer. It's pretty big. of capacity. As you can see these shelves are easy to move about. They're made of safety glass. Now let's look at the freezer again. I'll take that drawer out again. And you can you can take these separation shelves out. There's one between each drawer. Although I don't think there's I don't know why you would put them out. Except maybe that top one. You could maybe make the top two into one shelf, but it would be pretty... I'm sure it's not recommended. So here's just to show you how much space you get up there. That top shelf again. Like I say, you shouldn't keep rolls on there, you shouldn't keep anything that could catch in the fan. And here's one of the middle drawers, I've got a pack of frozen mints at the back there and now I'm putting in 12 quarter pound of chicken burgers. There's the frozen mints. That's at the back. Now I'll put in some chicken slices. I'll put in some frozen potatoes and some square sausages but really even for one or two people it's still quite tight for space the freezer so that's a bit of disappointment there's a 10 inch pizza I can get about seven of them in if I unpackage them so here's another look at the external uh, the door is a bit flimsy so you need to be careful say if you had a young child there may be a way to break that the doors are reversible you can change them to either side but you need to be capable of doing that. You can see the back, it's quite flat there. Quite. And as you look down, there's a drip tray for the auto defrost. And there's a motor underneath it. And then for underneath you've got, it's just a metal bar that goes right across the back, but it's very stable. It'd be very hard to tip this over. And then you've got two stands at the front. Maybe they're adjustable, I don't know. Let's look at the back again. As you can see, it's there's the pipe for the auto defrost that goes down to the trip tray. Then you get the motor underneath. Quite noisy when you're close to it, but it's not that noisy when you're not near it. I've had this fridge for four months now. The cable's about 2 metres long, but you want to be a lot closer than that to the plug. So, just a few final comments by me about this fridge freezer. The three things that were important to me were price, had to be under say £300, Sto freezer storage capacity, it was the freezer I was really after, and the freezer had to be frost free. So this one was £279.99 out of Curry's. I think in the UK it's exclusive to Curry's. You're going to be hard pushed to get a, a freezer with claimed freezer storage capacity of around 87 litres. I've got mixed, feeling about, mixed feelings about this fridge freezer. I'm uh, happy it's frost free. It's a frost free freezer. That's not to be confused with fridge auto defrost. I think most fridges have auto defrost now. That's just, that's just a small hole in the back. Uh, you really, I would say nowadays you really want a frost free freezer. 
so that you never have to scrape ice off. You never get ice in the freezer compartments. Your food feels like the the frozen food in a supermarket. It's not it's not covered in ice and frozen to the core or just totally covered in ice. It's, it's, it's got a nice fresh feeling even though it's frozen. But for storage capacity, I think the problem is uh, the design of the drawers doesn't make the best use of the space. And also, even though it's, it's supposedly three drawers and a flat drawer, you're really only getting three and a half drawers because the bottom drawer is only half a drawer because it's got a motor in the back. I take the ice, ice cube, cube tray out so that I've got a bit more space in the back there. So I've got mixed feelings about this. I know that now curries to a Beko fridge freezer at £298, the Beko CF5015APW, and uh, I would probably go for that now because you get one extra freezer drawer. But that makes it quite difficult to get to the top of the of the fridge because it's I think it's 201 centimetres big so far quite small people I mean maybe hard to reach the, the top of the fridge in that but for me personally I would like as much freezer storage as I could in a frost free freezer so I'll probably pick that now so that's my review of the Beko CXF5104W Fletch for you